All right, dogs, spoiler alert from the title. We're freaking going back to Hawaii. I'm so excited, you don't even know. This is really my first time going back there since my whole like excursion of when I went, not really a year ago, but like almost a year ago, in like two months it'll be a year, when I like first went to start my whole like trip and i just literally am so excited i can't wait to have a freaking real good acai bowl eat some mango see rachel be in the sun be on the beach like i can't wait so i'm going just to visit just going on a trip basically primarily to go to see rachel and visit rachel i'm gonna be there for about like 11 days but like with travel i'm gonna be on for like 12 13 days ish i don't really know but i'm getting ready to go to the gym um i've had such a busy day already it's about one o'clock and i've been planning so many exciting things it's just a lot and a lot of orchestrating i haven't packed it all and i'm leaving tomorrow at noon which i'm not worried about because it's going to take me four seconds to like pack basically a bikini is pretty much all I'm going to need but I do want to go to the gym so then I can get back but I need to fix myself really quick like I don't know maybe brush my hair you know all the things Ooh, do I feel like a hat today I'm not gonna forget deodorant like I did last time but everyone for the love of all things holy make sure that your deodorant is aluminum free no heavy metals up in this drone guys I'm so chaotic today like if you see any clutter in the background, like just let it be. <laughs> also, I've been so obsessed with pink. Like, here we go. This pink and brown combo is also so cute. And I am gonna have it. Anyways, something super exciting happened today. I basically, well, this morning, I officially sent out like my initial emails to everyone who was coming on my Costa Rica retreats to actually get our group message going, which I know some of you guys are gonna be like, it's about damn time live, like I've been waiting for four months. But I just felt like now was a more appropriate time. I didn't wanna do it like too early and then just kind of, I don't know, not be able to be like as available and present as I would like to be. So I just felt right now to do it now. And basically the group messages are just gonna be for all of us to obviously like, if you have any questions or concerns, ask them in there and I'll be there they're more readily available to answer them for you. Also to help you guys like stay up to date on any trip info and also just to maybe help calm nerves, help get each other hyped and just start to bond and make friends and get to know each other so when we get there, we're not like total strangers, you know what I mean? So if you are coming on the trips, definitely check your email. And if you did not get an email, DM me and just make it very obvious like have your first line be Costa Rica retreats so it doesn't get lost and I will make sure to add you in. Also if you have been thinking about the trips and you kind of want to go but you're not sure just saying there's still spots available. I know I'm biased but I greatly encourage you to consider coming and joining the trip because I know it's gonna be really freaking magical. Our itinerary is gonna be really fun and it's gonna be just like a super mindful, intentional, frequency raising week. And I would love to have you because I just wanna share this experience with as many people as possible. So the retreat pages are linked down below. There are spots available on both the first wave of the retreat and the second wave, and they're both happening this coming June. And in case it's not clear, I'm gonna be with you guys like every step of the way. We're gonna be in the same hotels, doing all the same activities together. Like I'm going to be on the trip with you. So basically we also get to travel together, which is like not too shabby if you ask me. I thought I was gonna have to return something today to Princess Polly, but luckily I don't need to return it until the 3rd of March, which I'll definitely be back before then. So that's something that I don't need to have on my to-do list anymore, which is a relief. But I am trying to go get my nails done with my mom after this to prep these toes to be exposed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try to quickly go through this upper body workout. I'm just gonna get some like B-roll clips for you guys. We're not gonna be mic'd up or anything like that, just so I can keep rolling for today. Yeah. 
No, I'm sturdy like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look young, and he miller knock his money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket, engine get to rocket. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock. No, Russell Wilson, way I get low and stay in the pocket. I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown. Yeah, I can't do no time, don't leave that gun around. In my teens, we were acting up and running around. Now it grows to get to it if it's necessary. On the ground from January to January, never met nobody who retired when they were young. They were young so I guess I gotta get it to the cemetery go, go. Getting paid just for rapping is fun. It's fun I let up around the month in every February Yo, yo, yo. Talking side, no electric, no electric. Yeah. It's getting hectic 777 777 Yeah, yeah. Couple of money in my head just to say they did it Can't lie, I'm so paranoid and the window's tinted I own everything around me, you can say it's raining Not talking phone numbers when I'm talking seven digits Earn it by the date, every second minute Used to pay me none, look, now they pay attention Everybody said they drip, but I banded it See them copy all the looks, but I stay switching Pick up the loop, then hit the bank Can't ever change, still wrote the change Captain say the pay, this say the day They made me wait, I'm breaking chains Yeah, yeah, tell me feeling bubble Bubbly off the rose, rose Took a minute, but I got it out the soul way Friends turn to foes, haters tell them go away Rappers make a shiggy dance like a soul train Told them slide, no electric It's getting hectic 777 777 Told them slide, no electric It's getting hectic 777 777 Okay, we really love that I was able to just do that drive with the sun open. That was just luscious and the windows cracked because the sun is so warm today. I love it. You guys, here's my thing. I mean, I don't think it's a secret because half the time in my videos, I look a mess because I don't really always fix myself. But I think it's no secret that I'm not like a girly girl's girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really do my hair. I'm not really into makeup. I don't like go get my hair done. And with that, I'm not someone to go get their nails done often. I really never, ever, ever do it. And kind of what caused and sparked this little nail fiasco is like, uh, in the middle of January for my sister's birthday, my mom was like, let's all go get my nails done. Like my sisters and my mom and I, because like, oh, it's fun, Natalie's birthday, whatever, whatever. And before that time, I hadn't gotten my nails done in literally years. Like, I couldn't even tell you the last time. And that kind of sparked the thing of like, wow, this feels really nice. Maybe I should do this more often. So then I got my nails done again, not very long ago for a little event that I had. And now I really just want to make sure my toes are nice for Hawaii. But I'm just telling you guys, it's this is going to be the third time. I'm already kind of over it. Like, I just feel like, and this is a huge reason why I don't like pay a lot of attention into my hair and stuff. Like, I don't understand how you girls do it of like sitting in the chair to like get highlights or whatever. Like, doesn't it take forever? And I'm not even trying to be annoying. Like, genuinely, I just am, I would get so impatient antsy that's like truly the reason why I just am like no I can't do it I'm already over going to get my nails and like I don't want to go sit there right now especially because it's such a good day like I would so much rather go walk or even just sit in the sun like I just want to be able to be outside right now and I just don't like allocating time to do these things granted this is such a privileged thing for me to be saying I understand but I'm just saying I don't know if it's for me like I feel like this <laughs> this little uh put together nail phase is already coming to an end very short-lived but I think that's all she wrote <laughs> watch me come out of this song and be like oh my god they're so cute I'm so happy I got them done <laughs> I did the classic Liffy blue periwinkle like light blue is clearly my favorite color I don't love doing this when I'm kind of pale. I love it when I'm tan It just like accents really well, but I'm really stoked because hopefully I'll get a little bit of color um, In Hawaii and I actually got gel for the first time ever on my toes and my nails I don't think I've ever gotten gel before not I don't think I know I haven't so this will be a good experience a good little experiment I mainly want to get gel on my toes because I just know with us being in and out of the ocean and I 
I feel like I always freaking kick a reef every time I'm in the ocean. And so I just didn't want it to chip in like two seconds. So I just decided to go with gel. But I will say I've been like loving pinks lately, as I said earlier. And the whole time I was like, I kind of like wish I got pink on my nails. But maybe next time, even though I just said I'm over getting my nails done. Okay, tea though. I'm going into my old gym. Haven't been here in probably a month, but because I'm going to finally cancel this membership and at first I was going to keep both, but I just don't find myself coming here at all. I thought maybe I would because it's in a convenient location, but I haven't literally come at all. And so I might as well just get my money back for whatever the rest of my membership is and just save some money and be able to use that in Hawaii. So we're going to go in there, cancel the membership. They said they would give me a refund. So here we go. And yes, I'm going to bring my camera in and film it. <laughs> So the lady who spoke to me previously said that I'd be able to get a refund on what I had left of my membership. Okay, you if that's possible. So how we do refunds here is Thank you so much. No 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 worries at all. Thank you, I appreciate it. Guys not to be petty but to be petty i literally feel like it's like you know when you have a breakup and you go back to see your ex and you're like who why was i so hung up on you that's how i feel like i'm like thank the lord i dodged a bullet like i didn't even want to go up on the main floor anymore to go work out and usually i would have fomo and i don't have fomo am i bitter absolutely not no i'm kidding but literally that is how i feel like i felt like i was seeing an ex-boyfriend and was like i totally upgraded <laughs> foods to get a few airplane snacks number one these power curls which there were only two left and i was just like thank the lord the no cheese cheesiness these are so good i haven't had those those are like my airplane snack for some reason i really only have them when i'm traveling i got these because i've been wanting to try these and i've been seeing them there so i figured now's a good time i got two um chomp sticks one like in an italian flavor and one they're like classic one i didn't know these were with grass-fed beef like i love that and then for some bars i got like a beef epic bar just for like more of a whole food option ish and then i got an rx bar and then i got a no cow bar for more of a conventional protein bar and i'm probably gonna bring some other bars with me that I have at home, but I am going to eat this right now, actually. Mmm. Is that Italian what flavor? Mm-hmm. Wow, I wish I got two in this flavor. And I am cracking these open now. Mmm. I don't think I've had these since October when I went to Tahiti. The time has come. I always feel like a marshmallow when I wear this, but we're gonna pack, finally. <laughs> you guys, I'm being such a squirrel. One thing about me is I am a carry-on gal. I don't like to check bags whenever I don't need to. If I can fit in a carry-on suitcase or make it myself in a carry-on suitcase, I'm gonna only take a carry-on suitcase. I hate waiting for bags. I don't like kind of the thought of like my stuff not with me. Like, you know, stuff happens. Airlines can always be trusted. So I like just having my stuff with me and it's just easier, I feel like, and less bulky, less stuff to fly with. And let's be honest, I'm only going for like two weeks and anything I wear in Hawaii is like this big, so it should all be able to fit in there. And then I also always obviously take a backpack for my other like personal item. And I love this backpack. This is a Dakine backpack. It's an OG. It's not the roomiest. It's like deep, but it's not wide. It's interesting. One could argue that I literally have a Hawaii wardrobe and I wouldn't say they're incorrect. I have a pile in my closet that's basically just like the, all the clothes that I wore in Hawaii. And this is pretty much all of them. And I've washed them all. So they're fresh and clean. Mm, they smell scrumptious. Like, ugh, nostalgia. Do you guys remember when I did my haul of the video like before I went away to Hawaii for two and a half months? And I remember that I showed you guys this from PacSun. I feel like when people go on like conventional vacations, they like plan by outfit. I don't because... That I'm not like going to a resort and having like that style of vacation. Like I'm kind of just going to go chill and adventure and like kind of be more like living there for a week than like vacationing, I guess, if you will. So also these rip curl shorts are the best thing of the century. I guarantee they're probably still on the website. I have them in two colors and I live in them. 
They're like kind of low waisted but oddly flattering. I love them. Oh, this also is an iconic dress that I'm gonna bring t-shirt dress easy to throw on. Step one is always airport fit. My cotton garbage bag from Free People. This is definitely going to be worn on the airplane. And you know, one of the reasons why Rachel and I get along is truly because she is like me in the sense that we both will wear kind of the same clothes over and over and over again. And that's just totally my butt. To me, it's efficient. But I'm also gonna bring a couple of dresses. These are both iconic for me. And then just like a white bodysuit to wear. Always need some sort of little fleece thing. So I'm gonna bring that little zip up. And where are my jean shorts? Oh, I'm bringing these pants from Princess Polly. I'm showing you guys briefly because I feel like I don't have that many clothing. So I feel like you guys have seen all this stuff in one way or another on Instagram or like in a vlog. And these little denim shorts from PacSun. Oh, I'm definitely bringing, hold up, definitely bringing my freaking favorite score of all time. Some athletic shorts, athletic tops, probably going to bring a couple sports bras. Oh. Bathing suits. I'm going to bring my like surf rash guard situation because your girl's going to get back on the board. Yup, that's your right here to your first. And then I'm going to bring this one piece because it's strapless and sometimes I don't want my stomach out. And then I have this iconic one from, this top is from Billabong and then these bottoms are from Toast Swim. And then I also have this little yellow bikini from Toast Swim as well. 